by the way, for everyone, I'm not Linus. Linus got sick, so I'm standing in. So a little bit of preparation here. Um, so And it's a good thing, I think, because it really shows how easy it is to do this. So even for me, that I've never done it before, it's, it's a really good experience. So bear with me. Um, right, so does anyone here know what is cloud events? Have you ever heard of the concept? A little bit here, not so much. Okay, so cloud events basically lets you expose different type of streaming technologies in a very easy and uh, asynchronous way. So for example, if you have something like a Kafka stream or if you have an MQTT stream, cloud events let you expose them as the same type as um, how the consumer would read from that side. So for example, um, what I will show you here is that if we have an event producer, let's say it can be a RabbitMQ stream, and my developers want to consume those messages as webhooks, cloud events makes the translation between those different technologies so that the messages look the same. Why am I talking about this? Because we see that the future resides, first of all, between asynchronous events. We see that a lot of different companies are exposing and, and want to consume messages as REST APIs, but the backend systems are using a streaming technology like a Kafka or an MQTT or a Solest stream, for example. So the complexity here and why you need an API gateway to be able to transform these type of messages is, for example, when you need to add security on top of your Kafka stream, you want to monitor them. But as a consumer, it's not really efficient to just listen to a Kafka stream, right? What you want to tell your consumers is that, hey, I have this service for you, it's a REST service, and you don't really care what's happening in the backend. So Gravity Gateway lets you do that. It lets you expose those type of server-side events or streaming capabilities um, by using, what did we call it again? Cloud events. <laughs> so I will demo to you how that works. And the demo is very simple. Um, basically, I have a Kafka topic. Um, I'm using Confluent for that, where I'm pushing messages. And to the client, I can basically expose that um, in any type of message I want. For this example, I'm going to expose it as a webhook. But I could expose it as, again, as a REST API or a SOAP API or um, uh, also as a Kafka stream. So let me show you how that would work. My backend service for this API, and the example I'm going to show is a taxi bookings API. So this backend, where I will push the messages, would be a Kafka stream. And how I would expo expose those messages, I have chosen in Gravity to expose them in three different ways, as an HTTP, or so to call a REST API, a webhook, and a WebSocket. So what I've done is that I've gone to webhook.site to create a webhook from scratch. And let's start with going to my page where I have my developer portal and go to my taxi bookings API. So now I am the consumer. And I basically want to subscribe to this API using webhook, for example. So I go to the tax bookings API and I press subscribe. I have no I have not had time to create any documentation for this API, so hope that's OK. And then I choose that I want to subscribe as a webhook. I copy the webhook URL. Um, let's just choose webhook here. I'm learning a bit here. We insert the callback URL, and we hit Next. I guess we don't need an app for now. Or actually, we do need an app. So let's create an app real quick. And we call it Taxi Bookings App. Taxi App. 
We don't need a security today for that. Great. And let's just hit next and create the app. If I now, perfect. And now I can go back to the app or to the API, sorry. Go to taxi app bookings. I should be able to subscribe now because I have created an app. Let's insert a webhook URL again to choose the app and validate request. Fingers crossed it will work. So let's now go to my Kafka stream. And yes, I have not signed in. I hope my credentials are not going to be shown now. <laughs> Perfect. And I go to taxi. Taxi topic, yes. And now, if I'm on the producer side of the message, I could, and fingers crossed this will work, I could actually push this message as any type of message I want. Let's say it, now it's a Kafka queue, but it could have been a RabbitMQ queue. And I could change even the entry. So how kind of it all works around cloud events is that cloud events, because it's agnostic to the streaming technology that you use, you can change all the parameters and the whole body of that event. But what I cannot change is a version tag that cloud events adds, but we, we don't want to care about that. So let's just add maybe taxi driver here. And I could put my name. And let's just push it to that Kafka topic. Your message is being processed. Good. So now, if that demo worked, I actually pushed the message to the Kafka queue, and my webhook was able to get that message, expose it to the client, with the same message that I was sending in, so taxi driver Benjamin. So essentially, I could change this and put something else. And the beauty of this is that even if my client would listen to this as a REST API, he would still get these messages asynchronously from my Kafka stream. So you can see here that I'm very fast able to send another message to my webhook. And going here, I now have the taxi driver as Linus. So what the Gravity Gateway at the end of the day lets you do with all of this is that you're able to manage it the same way as you were to manage a typical REST API. Great, so that was really it. I hope I was able to deliver. <laughs> Thank you.